Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Alright, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Ensemble. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts body. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. All right, well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here, too. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he heats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight, more than five years apart, with similar height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's the DC first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 154 pounds. Fighting out of Phuket, Thailand, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Juggernaut! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Right, so here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're gonna get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Try to establish that jab. Throws the right hand there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, that even hurts to watch. Huge kick to the body. Straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. That was a thudding leg kick. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Punch over the top. 
Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh, single collar tie here. Quick entry to get Man, in on a single. That was a great single. Oh. Big slam takedown. That was beautiful. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place he on got the ground. His... Minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. Won that last round. This round, you want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches, use your knees, use your kicks. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next Ready. round. High Ready. number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Nice punch lands. Ooh, what a head kick. And that left hook landed on the button. Still nice body kick land. Unable to connect it. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Big body kick. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Oh. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Just out of range with that strike. His opponent still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. And a miss with the right hook. A little single collar tie there. That punch to the body does a lot of damage. Ooh, big shot lands. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, John, that was so nice. What a beautiful takedown. All right, he's posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. All right, half guard now. Not a fighter you want in half guard against you. For the bottom fighter, what does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You oh, oh, big man. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Entertaining scrap so far. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, 
He's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Defensively, as he blocks the shot. Nice kick. Oh! Oh, straight right. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. Let's see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on it. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? No when to hold him. No when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Nice leg kick. Good stick. Oh. Can't take many of those. You better check. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Nice punch lands over the top. Look at him drive his shin and his own body with that body kick. Official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 29 27, 30 26, and 29 27. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Assassin! All right, so there he is. The celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner.